to bring up the temperature around 100, 105 to get all the tobacco to brown. Right. That's the first stage of the game. So once they would get it to that state, then they would continue using hardwoods and put sawdust on it <coughs> to really get the smoke more up, smoke, right? and then that would create it very, very dark. You know, and I'm that's where you're getting <coughs> that really that Kentucky barbecue, you know, amazing smoky flavors that's coming right. from that. So the smoke is more it's. It's not just the, for the heat. The smoke actually will flavor the yeah. tobacco. It's yeah. the curing just process. Just like a, on a smoker on a, with meat. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Because okay. the no, smoke is no transmitting flame. the heat. Right. It's a difference where here when they add charcoal, it's really just to drop the humidity. They're not trying to affect the internal temperature of the barn for the most part. Right. Whereas when they're doing it for, <laughs> for any sort of fire cured tobacco, what they're doing is they're actually trying to use the heat in order to help to cure the tobacco. So the process is considerably shorter when you do a fire cure kind of principle. And there's no pilone, and that's typically, you know, it, the characteristic of the tobacco. You'll see some of it tomorrow. And you know, one and of the You're actually going to see it today, actually. Cause uh, you guys may have noticed this. Uh, back, like, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, a lot of Indonesian wrappers had a very smoky taste to yeah. them. And the reason why is because they used a native hardwood to help cure in the curing parts. What was that called? Jakarte? Jakarte, yeah. Jakarte was the wood. the carbon, which they used... Here, right. The charcoal to control the humidity levels. They use. Say it again. Jakarta. Jakarta. It's a in natural hardwood from Indonesia, but they've tried to get them away from that because of deforestation. So you'll notice now most Indonesian tobaccos don't have that smoky characteristic that they used to have 15, 20 years ago. The only thing that in the air cured, that's one area where we kind of get similar to that kind of curing process. The other area, obviously, is in Candela, because in Candela, in Candela, you bring the barn up tremendously higher. You bring the barn up to about 180 degrees, 170. Yeah. Cuando estás curando candela, no trabajaste con candela. ¿Cómo no? ¿Qué es la temperatura? Okay. Eh, estás... Normalmente se comía, dependiendo si usted la quiere, una candela amarilla o una candela verde. 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 Normalmente uno arranca a un 80. Bueno, 180. 180. Cada una hora, 82. Eh, cada hora le va dando 2 grados, 2 grados, 2 grados. So, 2 hours, you sí. increase, you increase to 2, 2 degrees. Eso se saca, se puede sacar en 48 horas, dependiendo. Yeah, lo two que days, quiera. you're right. ready to go. And basically, I was going to say, it takes you about two days, and by the third day, you're already pulling the candela out of the barn. Because you're then, in that case, actually using the heat to cure the tobacco. But it's much, much different because it doesn't allow the chlorophylls to, the chlorophylls don't convert the same way. They actually get affixed in the tobacco. So it has a much different taste. In the 